What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today. In this video we are doing the 11th installment of Random Model Airports. Today we are doing the Bangor International Airport up in Bangor, Maine. Special thanks to True Plane Spotting for suggesting this airport. If you have any other suggestions for a random model airport, anywhere between a small to medium sized airport, please leave it in the comments and I will add it to the list. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for the intro. So, kind of a small airport, but it does serve a pretty big purpose as it's one of the first airports that you hit um, when you're crossing the Atlantic coming from Europe, and it's one of the last that you hit before you cross the Atlantic if you're heading to Europe. Um, I know there's like Gander as well up in Canada, but Bangor is kind of like the first major airport you hit um, in the United States uh, before you get to like New York and um, Boston, all those places. So this is just kind of a place where you get the big heavy aircraft that end up diverting here, and I believe there's also a lot of military aircraft that show up as well. I do have one in this update. I'll show that in just a minute. Um, but for air service, it's kind of limited, um, kind of the small regional jets, and then you also have Allegiant that also has some presence here as well. Um, obviously with the current situation that has changed, but I believe the other operations like military and all that stuff, I don't think that has been affected drastically. So let's go ahead and hop in. At gate three, we have this American Eagle Embraer ERJ-145 that arrived in from Philadelphia at 10 or at 9.58 ahead of a scheduled 10.19 p.m. arrival. Um, again, the old livery, not the new livery, so not really accurate. I believe American has since retired the last of the old livery um, ERJs. So now all we have is the new livery. So a little bit sad, but um, can't really find a new livery 145 as they're quite rare. So I'm happy to stick with this for the time being. But nice to see them appear in all these airport updates. Pretty good to have, so let's move on to the next aircraft. For the sake of variety, I have him placed at the wrong gate at gate number four. He's supposed to be at number six, but there's another aircraft occupying it. This is an Allegiant A320 that arrived in from St. Petersburg at 5.17, ahead of a scheduled 5.28 p.m. arrival. Um, this is a this was a fence tip winglet operated aircraft, well, whereas this is the winglet operated. Hopefully Gemini and I will do like a fence tip A320 again with a new livery or even do one of the specials like um, Winter to Dolphin or Make the make a Wish. I've said it before, but um, we just don't really get much um, presence with Allegiant aircraft these days, even though this is pretty much all they operate now. Um, next aircraft. Not 100% sure if I got the gate numbers right. I couldn't really find anything on like gate information and like where the gate numbers are at. So I put gate 5 here, 6 there and then seven and eight right next to each other on this side. I thought this is like an abandoned terminal at some point, but it's just like the international terminal or whatever. I don't know, it's a little, a little complicated. But at gate number five, we have this Delta Connection CRJ 700 that arrived in from New York LaGuardia at 9.40 ahead of a scheduled 10.22 p.m. arrival. So he is well ahead of schedule, and that's good to hear for the passengers that are on board. Um, not really much else with this aircraft except this is the much better CRJ 611 compared to the 708 that they did a couple of years after. So, next aircraft. As per the usual, a critical addition to the collection. This is a United CRJ 200 in the Continental Globe colors. Still waiting for the new livery CRJ 200 that has yet to be released by Gemini Jets. I know that has to be done at some point because they did the CRJ 550. Um, what was it, October of 2019, I think, or November, I don't really remember. Um, so a United CRJ 200 in the new livery is definitely imminent at some point. Um, but this guy arrived in from Washington Dulles at 12, at 12.16 p.m. ahead of a scheduled 12.52 p.m. arrival, so another way ahead of schedule arrival. And that's all the aircraft we have at the passenger terminal. We got one more aircraft over here, and it is a Boeing C-17. This is not representative of any actual events, and if it does, it's purely coincidental. I just put it in here because um, military aircraft probably have a pretty decent presence here at Bangor. So I put this in here. C-17 Globemaster based out of McCord Air Force Base. Would be nice to get more of these, but the only difference they really have is just that little tail banner um, on the tail. But either way, this is nice to have. And that's all I have. Kind of a quick um, airport update again. Thank you to True Plane Spotting for suggesting this airport. If you have any other airports to suggest, any other random model airports, I should say, please leave them in the comments. Um, preferably small to medium sized. You know the drill at this point. 
Also forgot to mention that I did kind of try to replicate the airport hotel, which I think is a four points. Just used a few uh, Gemini Jets boxes of some of my more recent arrivals, like the Spirit A320 Neo and Northwest A320 Bowling Shoe livery, and my Blue Angels new Fat Albert C130 from my latest model unboxing video. So go check that out if you haven't. Also go check out Massive Unboxing 7. It's been a little while since I've posted it, but for those that maybe have not seen it yet, recommend watching it because it's kind of a fun unboxing. A lot of new arrivals, a lot of great additions from DG Pilot. And that's all I have for the video. With that being said, thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.